I'm Travis Quadlander here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt, and today we're looking at a brand new legendary purple with purple frame, 2021 Peterbilt 389 Custom. We have four of this custom spec in stock and another four uh, with a couple other options. Uh, these trucks are true owner operator specs. Um, truly, actually more like an owner operator dream. Again, this color is called Legendary Purple. I hope all the uh, metallic and pearl flake is showing up in the camera right there. This is just a beautiful, beautiful color. It is not just your standard fleet. It's not even just your standard two-stage paint. These legendary colors are just so awesome. Uh, worth the extra money if you're willing to pay for it. Um, we've got this one in stock. We have the legendary blue with blue frame, uh, which I'll link in the uh, comments below. We have a Viper red with a red frame, and we have a white with a lime green frame, all with pretty much the same specs. A couple of them have the uh, donkey ear 45 degree uh, bend on the exhaust tips. Uh, a couple of them have these uh, miter cut tips. Uh, all of them have the uh, 60 inch standpipes. These are the uh, tallest ones while, while still staying under the 13.5. Uh, Dynaflex does offer one that I think goes up to about a 13.8, um, but we typically don't order that unless the customer requests it. True owner operator spec, 78 inch platinum sleeper. We've got a Cummins X15 performance series engine, 565 horsepower, 1850 pound feet of torque, compared to an Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. All aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. Uh, you've got uh, low pro 24 fives uh, all the way around. You've got the Peterbilt ovals on the rims. And uh, I think we've got a 336 gear ratio on this truck and a 280 inch wheelbase. Let's talk about some of the custom features that we've, we've done on this truck, starting up front. Instead of the uh, 18 inch Texas style bumper, this is a 20 inch square end bumper uh, with the uh, smooth mirror finish, no toe pin holes uh, in the bumper. If you prefer to have toe pin holes or a license plate recess or two license plate recess or a curve uh, on the ends of the bumper, you want to add a flip up those are all things that we can do in our body shop again eight inch dynaflex true dual exhaust 68 60 inch stand pipes with the minor tips you can see that that is a true dual exhaust hopefully you can see the white pipe right there and of course your battery battery disconnect switch kissling battery disconnect switch uh, it is a little tight in here reaching in there to disconnect that but i still prefer it uh, the battery disconnect switch mounted here because you can actually get to it as opposed to right here it's really difficult to get to without the uh, stainless steel panel right there um, why don't we put lights on the cab leg well we've got room for it on this side but on the passenger side we have to slide that uh, dpf box up for further forward to fit the eight inch exhaust and there's literally no room for those lights when we do this clear oval lights pattern um, when we do the three quarter inch penny bullet marker lights, whatever you want to call them, we do have room for that. Uh, so you'll see when we do the uh, painted lights panels with the turned down lights, we will have lights at the uh, base of the uh, cab leg on both the uh, driver and passenger side. Going up top, we've uh, spec this truck with uh, no horns on the roof. We will add the train horn for you at no extra cost. Uh, when we do the no air horns, we can add the uh, two additional marker lights for a total of seven. If you want to have nine or 13, we can do that as well. Uh, we swap out the lenses to uh, clear watermelon LED lenses on those marker lights just to uh, finish off the look. Here's your uh, 14 inch blind mount stainless steel visor by Phoenix Designs as well as the lights package with the cab window chops that are matching. I just love how it's just one continuous line right there. If you want to continue the window chop through the sleeper, we can do that as well. Either just the chop or the one with the surround and the bar going up the middle as well. Take a look at those cab and sleeper lights with the extra panel to match the uh, sleeper extender as well. There's your terrible 
mid-frame mounted uh, marker light. Should be able to take that off since there's plenty of other lights on this truck. With that 280 inch wheelbase, we still have room for the additional toolboxes on both sides with 110 gallon fuel tank on the path on the driver's side and 150 gallons on the passenger side. Of course, with your locking fuel caps, cheap option from the factory. It's definitely pretty expensive to add that later on. Six flush mounted load lights with your CV antenna mounted on the back of the sleeper. Deck plate access on both sides. We've got the uh, Hodge built 30 inch premium 304 stainless steel mirror finish on the quarter fenders. Notice we did the uh, top hat style hubs and lugs on these wheels. Again, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes. We've got Bridgestone R284s up front and uh, Bridgestone M713s in the rear. Uh, Low Pro 24.5s with a 336 gear ratio. Uh, I've got the Peterbilt ovals on these Low Pro 24.5s. On our other custom trucks uh, with the uh, Low Pro 22s, we like to do the uh, old school round holes. I just think it's a, a better look. Uh, we can always swap between Low Pro 22s and Low Pro 24s, and we'll take care of the engine parameters so your speedometer and all your uh, computer stuff will work correctly with that. That's very easy for us to do in house. Um, Got your Holland FW35 fifth wheel plate with air slide, low air leaf rear suspension. This truck does have a tape relief front suspension. You've got the uh, premium stainless steel mud flap hangers that are spring loaded, so you don't have to worry about damaging them. You've got the round LED backup and tail lights mounted below the frame. Makes it very easy if you're gonna add a custom light bar or custom mud flap hangers or anything like that to remove those and just have a very clean look on the back. Again, toolboxes on both sides, 150 gallon fuel tank on the passenger side. And you'll see right here, uh, our DPF box, we have to completely remove that and slide that forward. So it makes this, this, this gap in between the uh, DPF box and your hood a lot smaller. So we don't actually have room to put lights on those cab legs. Um, still looks great. Um, there's actually times where I prefer just having the straight row, row of lights on the cabin sleeper because uh, it's just a more uniform look. And there's your big old eight inch Dynaflex chrome dual exhaust. Again, true dual exhaust, no weed burner here. Lights on the front and the back of the breathers. Notice we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights on the front and back of the breathers, not just the small five light panel. It's uh, eight total lights on there for you. Again, just look at how beautiful this legendary purple paint looks. I hope all that sparkle and shine is showing up in the camera. Taking a look inside, it's a platinum interior. We've got the Sears Atlas 80 seats with the ultra leather. Uh, on a custom truck like this, I do kind of prefer doing these Sears Atlas 80 seats. Um, I still like the Peterbilt Premium Leather Ultra Ride because they give you a little bit more room going to and from the cab. And I think the leather holds up over time better. But um, on a custom truck like this, I think it kind of demands the Sears Atlas seat. Personal preference, Rosewood Dash. Uh, before we go inside, this truck left the factory weighing 18,366 pounds. Rosewood dash, all chrome gauges. You got 43 miles on the ticker of this truck, so you will be the uh, first person to sneeze in it. We spec this truck with the uh, CB radio mounted from the factory. When you do that, you do get this nice housing, makes it look nice and clean. We've also added your CB speaker and the headliner right there. I wish they would make that cover gray to match these speakers here. I think it would look more uniform, but hey, somebody makes more money than me gets to decide that. Train horn is gonna be plumbed right here to this leather pull strap. If you want to add the uh, chrome lever to the floor, we can do that as well. Navigation system on this truck, for those of you wanting all gauges, we've actually got, I think, four or five 
uh, due to arrive later this month with all gauges and no navigation. So we do have that option for you. Um, axle temperature gauges are still in the wrong spot, but we'll fix that um, before you take delivery at no charge. PTO switch mounted right here on the dash. Here's a look at your Eaton Fuller 18 speed manual transmission. And here's a look at that Sears Atlas 80 ultra leather, ultra leather seat. Just a really wide base platform, nice and soft. Definitely the softest seat that uh, Peterbilt lets you order from the factory. Uh, if you're a bigger driver, then this is definitely the seat for you too. Uh, even if you're not a bigger driver, it's very, very comfortable. Um, but if you are a bigger driver, definitely recommend going with this Atlas 80 seat. It is the way to go. Single bunk back here with the additional storage cabinets. They have the matching rosewood to match the dash. Everything is carpet or rubber lined, so you don't have to hear your items rolling around. Notice you've got the uh, two uh, support arms on these cabinets, so you don't have to worry about that closing on your hand, smacking you in the hand while you're trying to get things in and out. If you're leaning in there, it's not gonna be smacking in the back of the head. Additional storage space up above with these nets. Got storage space at the base of the bed with a kind of double cup holder so you can fit a 12 ounce can all the way up to a big Yeti or a Whataburger, what a size drink. You've heard me say before, we're installing more inverters in these trucks and I like to install the plug right here. I oh, will have some videos going up showing those inverter installs. So you'll see what I'm talking about. We can also install them here in your microwave area or here in your TV area, whichever you prefer. This truck uh, is specced with the uh, premium mattress, premium speaker package, and a business center. Slides out. Per usual, one of those trim pieces fell off, so we'll get that taken care of before you pick it up. Um, room to put your uh, tablet or laptop or something like that in there. Have a meal right there. You've got a couple other trays that slide out with uh, Tupperware containers in there. You can fit your files or dirty laundry in there, whatever you prefer. And then another tray at the bottom for loose items. Do you have little storage compartments in the door as well on both sides? And you still have this huge closet right here with a clothes hanger bar right there. And then like I said, additional storage compartments in the door. Fridge mounted from the factory. Got lights on both ends of the uh, mattress. And then up at the head, you've actually got two directional map lights. These windows do open. You also have a screen so you can let the fresh air in and the bugs out and those are tinted as well. Sleeper AC and light controls right here. This is a premium mattress. So I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. Lifting up the mattress is super easy. There's a look at your rear AC. That uh, AC filter right here slides out super easy. So when it is time for you to switch out that filter, don't let the service department charge you for that. Just get the part yourself and swap it out yourself. It's super easy to do, save a little bit of money. Fire extinguisher and uh, hazard triangles uh, right there in the sleeper. You'll notice that whenever we lift up the mattress or open either of the storage doors on either side of the sleeper, that these lights will come on automatically. There is a uh, switch on them. So if you want to turn them on and off manually, you have that abil ability as well. Notice on both sides of the mattress, you've got these uh, gas air shocks. These things really hold up over time. You don't have to worry about that mattress falling down on you. Uh, having the two shocks instead of just one, it's really just gonna hold up over time really well. Premium speaker package with your subwoofer for the cab and sleeper. You've got a nice recess beneath the bed without having to lift it up. Uh, whenever you put your uh, shoes or other loose items right there, uh, you can slide them up underneath the mattress without having to lift it up. There's a bar right here. Obviously that's gonna keep items from rolling out when you're driving the truck as well.
up above, you've got a couple more lights in here. And of course, a uh, mirror so you can uh, brush your teeth or do your tie in the morning. Thankfully, it's been quite some time since I've had to put on a tie. And of course, the best view in trucking, only made better by that 14 inch drop visor. Peterbilt 389 extended hood. Get to look at that legendary paint on the hood. Point that wing on the horizon and uh, keep on trucking. Take a look underneath the hood. Again, we love the fact that we have a uh, all aluminum hood. Makes it very easy to open this hood one-handed while I'm filming. And what that means to you is you or your drivers are gonna be much more likely to do their pre-drive checks, find any minor issues before they become major ones. And there's a look at your Cummins X15 Performance Series engine. 565 horsepower, 1850 pound-feet of torque. Love the big, bold, beautiful name badges on the X15 engine. Again, the Performance Series gets these black diamond plate badges where the uh, Efficiency Series gets the brushed aluminum look. Of course, it wouldn't be complete without your Dabco 382 upgraded fuel water separator. You've got your remote lube points, greasable front springs, again, a tape relief suspension. Uh, again, you can see that this uh, truck was painted, uh, the frame was painted purple from the factory. Literally every component of frame gets painted whenever you do the uh, frame painted at the factory. Uh, it is a little bit extra, but certainly better to do it at the factory as opposed to after the fact. Um, this tape relief suspension, I really like it. Um, Air Ride is a great suspension. It gives you a nice cushy feel. Um, a 280 inch wheelbase with an extended hood is gonna give you that Peter Bat Peterbilt ride like a Cadillac uh, quality feel. Um, but if you do prefer a little bit firmer, a little bit more support, a little bit more communication, especially in the turns, um, this tape relief spring is gonna be the way to go. Uh, if you prefer a more clob-like uh, softer feel, then absolutely Air Ride is the way to go. And we've got both tape relief and Air Ride available in our standard owner operator spec, as well as these custom dress up specs. Again, all aluminum wheels, all disc brakes on there. Just a true owner operator spec with some really nice custom features. Uh, if you want to add anything to it, we've got the capability to do that here in-house. Like I said, we've got this one and uh, three others in this spec in stock. The other three colors are going to be Viper Red with a red frame, uh, Legendary Blue with the blue frame, and White with the lime green frame. Uh, I've got four other colors uh, in stock with a 290 wheelbase, no toolboxes, air ride front suspension, uh, 2050 torque instead of the 1850 torque. And uh, the colors on that are light purple slate with a purple frame. Uh, I think we've got a black with a lime green frame, medium aqua with a white frame. And I'll have to think about what that fourth one is colored. Uh, give me a call. My name is Travis Quadlander. I'm here at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt. My cell is 817-504-7220. Hablo Espanol, puede llamarme a 817 504-7220. Or come see us at Rush Truck Center's Dallas Peterbilt right here in Irving, Texas off of Loop 12 and Union Bauer. I want to thank all you truckers again for uh, keeping our country running when we need you the most. Look forward to hearing from you. Hope you have a great day.